Okay, so uh, we're back again. Uh, pretty much, I mean, not right where we left off. I didn't close out anything or do anything else. I just disappeared for like a few hours, handle some stuff. So now we're back. I think I went through all the rules. So we'll go ahead. We're playing the hunter, right? Yeah, we're playing the... Oh, my keyboard is... Okay, I'm not clicked in. That's why. Yeah, we're playing the hunter. We got the boo. Yeah, he just... Okay, so let me let me show you how this works. So I got four stamina right here. All that happens, one action, right? And then to move is a second action, okay? But now we've never been on this space before. So now that we're on this space, we'll roll our player die. It's five. You know what? I'm going to put some some um, corpse cards in there to speed up the game. But let me just go off of five here. So in the clearing space, we got five. So two to six, that's where five lands. Draw a discovery card and resolve it. So here are our discovery cards. We'll draw one. We'll flip it over and we'll resolve it. As I walked trail, I heard an unusual... I heard... Uh, wow, okay. So, uh, as you can see, I'm uh, mildly intellectually deficit and uh, misspelled a lot of stuff here. Um, I believe when I wrote these cards, it was very late at night. But, you know, that's just an excuse to uh, cover up how stupid I am. I heard an unusual and unpleasant noise. As the animal was being... As, as the animal was being ripped apart... I broke into a run. I must have scared it off. Its kill was still twitching. Gain three knowledge, and you may place a within one tracker token or gain three food. Uh, within one would be very useful right now, but we've only got two food, so I think the best way is to max our food by gaining three food and gaining three knowledge. I think that's going to be our best move right now. All right. Excuse me. I'm a little sick. I'm getting over. Well, I'm getting over being a little sick. Um, we probably want to um build some things. And the only reason I say that is we're about to go into the night phase, and we've got a flashlight, and that'll be helpful, as you can see what it does. And then we've also got some trekking poles, which allows us to do more. So what we'll do is we'll, I'll just do this. I'll minus two now, and I'll minus these two, and then we'll just equip the flashlight. Oh, that's right. My my last board um, had it set up to where I had um, secondary hands here, so I'll just make a secondary hand really quick. Anyway, so I got those equipped. Um, pardon all that nonsense about that. So the trekking poles are going to give me plus one. So I can do one more thing. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to draw a card just so I don't have to worry about this was a discovery. So let me go ahead and deal with the monster's activity. Let's just do two. We'll shuffle them up. We'll flip them over. We'll shuffle them up so I can't see what they are. We'll put one to put this guy here and then we'll shuffle these till I see it once there we go and then I'll shuffle it twice before. okay um, all right so now uh, I'm gonna draw a card an equipment card that'll use one of my well so that so now we're at the end phase so now the first thing that really happens is we uh, minus one from our food and then we draw an encounter card. And so one side's got this and the other side has the uh, things. But we just draw the night side. Uh, so nightfall, I was woken last night by a blood curdling howl. I did not sleep well. I feel wrung out, lose one vitality. We do have a flashlight though. So that would apply to everybody. If all three other players would automatically lose one HP unless they also had a flashlight so with the flashlight i can also choose between lose one vitality and wouldn't you look at that lose one vitality so i will lose one vitality regardless 
but I will choose the other one only because that'll cycle out the one lo lo lose one vitality. So that'll help me in the long run. All right, so now my stamina resets, which is now five because my base is four. So now we're at five because we've got the trekking poles right there. Is it counting it as my main hand? No, it's not because that's my main hand right there. Okay. Um, so we put two in there, so our monster activity is going to be two. Um, so everything we roll is going to be plus two. Um, starting the new phase, I will now uh, do another clearing. So one, two. And I'll roll this. I, that's only mainly for like if you're switching people's turns, so you know how much is left. Seven, so nine on a clearing, which uh, add one food to your inventory. So I will go ahead and do that. Go back up to max, and then I'll do it again. I'll, I'll uh, explore a clearing, and then uh, that'll get me to oop, now roll uh, six, which makes it eight. Food again. So in this situation, I could plus one with this, right? Which will give me an encounter, which I'm going to do just to kind of show you how an encounter works. I kind of want to see about maybe making encounters a little bit more interesting. But for argument's sake, we're going to spend one here to increase that, which is going to make it nine, which I believe. Oh, no, it's not enough. So we shouldn't do that. Let's not do that. So we'll just do that. Because if it was n nine is enough for... Um, forest but it's not enough oh it's not enough for forest how interesting oh because i wanted more discoveries i wanted to increase the range of discovery on forest because it was just one and two on forest before so i dropped it off the nine um that's fine we'll just take the food but what we can do is we can drop a food token on this so now if we spend the night here gosh darn it if we spend the night here, we can use this food token that we just got um, instead of the one from our reserve. So we'll have technically we're uh, have six while sitting on this. But then that also means we can't put a trap token here. We can't put a sensor token. And uh, we also um, can't put a tracking token. So a well, tracker token, one of these guys. This is also another version of the tracking token. I just... The reason why is because I couldn't get this model to work, so these are just drawn on. Like, I kind of just, uh, uh, the mesh wouldn't work. I could get the 3D model to import right, but I couldn't get the mesh to work right because it just went all black, as you can see. So I just wrote on them because what they're really supposed to look like is those right there that you see on the tracker. Anyway, um, so where were we at? Okay, so we got that food token there got one left I'm gonna go ahead and draw another equipment card um, just because it's gonna be stout clothes that's pretty decent but we've also got decent stuff right here um, all right so then that makes it nighttime encounter we'll get rid of this food token and we'll go into a uh, nighttime encounter I'll just I just like to shuffle it every time on the Sim, tabletop sim version uh, just because it makes it random and I can't you see, as you can see there's no way I can see it without doing that so one is lose vitality and the other one is lose vitality man this shuffling I mean there is a decent amount I don't remember exactly how many there are I think there's like 12 lose one vitalities the hope is to have enough unique blurbs that the story is told through the cards so like like through the discoveries and through the equipment cards, right? And and through the um, two different versions of the um, whatever. And then also there's going to be special tile. I don't have the special tiles uh, done yet, but there's going to be special tile encounters. That's why if you flip this over, you'll only see uh, that it says uh, the, the forest camp, which is your HQ, and clearing. Both are lose. I'll lose this vitality so that we. I'll show you kind of a really quick. I'll show you another idea I had for a um, for the encounter cards. If it is, if I did make it completely. This is the standard, right? You have uh, 
nightfall and then there's the lair, the HQ, the clearing, and the forest, right? And then you flip it over, and then you have the McFinnigans. See, these are kind of the idea that I was originally going with, with having encounters be more interesting, where you can roll a die or spend ammo. These are zero encounters. I never made the the more the zero damage encounters. I never made the higher damage for these. But this is the idea that like each one would have its like own things you could do. Um, with your your action die is I, I the search die or the action die or whatever it is so that like you know as you settle down for the night that you are grateful for the owls hoot and the crickets chirp you know the night will be a peaceful perhaps pleasant dreams you begin the hunt tomorrow anew blah 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 so that would the current version of that says you know gain one vitality because you can you know I thought I'd be a little nicer to the players but you know as you can see on the layer and all that stuff blah 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 if you guys, I know like I've got nobody that watches my channel, but if you guys think that this is a uh, better version, I might put effort into this. It's just as you can see, like, it's like, it's an awkward card. And like, I'd want it to be, because these are only going to be like two inch tiles, right? So like, this is like a standard D6. You see how small it is? So I'd want the cards to be like, oop, wrong, wrong button this one here nope that's the that's the wrong one uh i just got a new keyboard that's got a different layout my apologies this one here not that big obviously not that big but something like that so that you could actually like read it because you know like look how small that print is right like if this is a regular size die right you see how small that print is it'd have to be like big you know what i mean like probably like that big to easy read and then, like, what is that? Let me... Like, here to here. That's 10 inches. That's a 10-inch card. That's huge. It's, like, bigger than your hand. You know what I mean? Like, that's the reason why I kind of went with this. Because these are also, like... These are, like, 2 to 3 inches or something like that is what how big these are going to be. They're basically, like, going to be the size of a Polaroid. So you let me know, if anybody's going to watch this, whether or not... Um, this should be this size or i should do it this way like because it's just so big like look at it like it's just so stupid big like maybe i could make it the same size as 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 the moon phases like that might be reasonable you know what i mean like and that's still like two four like six inches across which is like the size of your hand that's a big ass card um, but if I did that, then I could also have all the, um, then I could make the moon one hexagonal. I mean, you know, one in every corner and on every face for phases. I don't know. You guys let me know. But anyway, so getting back to it. <clears throat> Let's see. I got zero stamina. Did I, did I lose any food? Yeah, I lost the food because there's a thing there. Now I gotta remember where I was at. Um, I lost one vitality, so regain stamina, and then start the day anew. So I should start, let me go, let me try and, um, hunt, let me try and hunt. So forests are better to hunt in, so we're going to go like that, and then we're going to roll one cuke. <laughs> Ooh. See, because I rotated that hex, now it's all, like, weird. So, we want forest, one, discovery. So, we'll go ahead and do a discovery card. Uh, I stumbled onto a uh, discarded backpack. I had been hoping it was simply lost. The torn fabric, see, fabrica, and blood makes me think otherwise. Gain one knowledge, gain results from a rolled food die. Damn it. So, it's still nice to get knowledge. I don't have any more and the most little well I can roll zero so I rolled one so um, so I will put one token here I need to un unlike toggles no snap to grid there we go um, so there's that Oh, that's, sorry, that's two because I placed and placed. 
Uh, we'll do it again. One, two. And then I, I think what I'm going to do is probably um, uh, regain uh, vitality on uh, on this next night phase. Oh, no, I don't have any re materials. I can't regain vitality. Um, let me roll this really quick. Eight. And that is... I, I, I assume that there would be some quicker key than having to go all the way back here. Like, this is just for testing. Uh, eight. Gain one material. Hey! Would you look at that? Oh, no, no. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. I'm... I'm such a I'm such a fool. It's the 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 I've the activity levels two, which means this is ten, which means an encounter happens. So we'll draw an encounter card. So so anyway, so yeah, we roll the ten. We're going into an encounter. Monster encounter happens first. So we're on a forest. So won't won't sleep well tonight. Thing tried to grate me like a cheese, like cheese against a tree. Lose five vitality. One player's knight is lose one vitality. Discard good clothes to recover two vitality. Uh, good clothes is stout clothes. There's just a discrepancy in um, in in whatnot. Um, that's only if it's equipped. So I lose five. One, two, three, four, five. So now I'm down to two vitality. Um, <laughs> uh, geez. Um, and one player will lose one vitality at night. So that's going to be me. I don't know how I should put that. Maybe like this just to denote that I have to do that. Um, so that goes here. All right, so, uh, oh, I know what I can do. I can cheese this. So I've got one stamina. I'll gain one stamina. I can then, um, does taking a food token, no, that would add it to my inventory. So I'd trade a stamina for a food is essentially what I'd be doing if there's one other thing. But I could just eat it. See, I've never been in this situation. I think you should just be able to eat it right off the ground. Oh, no, no. So I moved one. I gained one, moved one, gained one. I'll gain another. One, two, three, four. I need to gain another. So I'll just move the rest of this distance here. Uh, I'll put this back. Oh, no, no, not yet. So I'll put that there. The reason why I wanted to go back to the HQ is the HQ is going to protect me from damage. Because any... Uh, I don't know if it's any damage that you'd take. Uh, I forget where I wrote it down, but let me find this really quick. Um, all players not on the HQ tile may remove one tile from inventory. Players with zero food lose two vitality results. Players on the HQ do not suffer any loss of vitality. All damage effects hit the HQ tile. Okay. So, yeah. So, I'll dodge this damage, and the HQ will lose one. This will go up by one. Um, I don't have to minus any food or anything, so that's kind of good because I did all that. I do still have to resolve nighttime effect. Discard one card each. Um, so I will discard the knife. Um, Oh, did I? I didn't deal any damage to the monster. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't because I have no material, so I couldn't damage the monster at all. The drawback of the bow. <laughs> oh, I did. I could have technically checked this. What this other one does? Lose one vitality. Yeah, I'd rather discard the card. But what does flashlight say specifically? I know I'm being a bit waffly here. Uh, draw. I draw a second nighttime encounter. Choose between it. So they both get 
both get discarded. So I don't lose any food. This goes back up to five. Recover one vitality. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and roll. <sighs> Monsters plus two. No, I shouldn't roll. I should just recover one vitality twice. And then I'll draw a card. Um, there we go. More stout clothes. So then nighttime encounter. Look at this. Lose one vitality. Alright, so the so this goes up by one. And that goes down by one. Thing goes back up. I'm going to recover two more vitality and draw another card. Uh, hiking boots. That's pretty good. Might trade out my flashlight for hiking boots, but that also might get me killed. This goes up by another one. Lose one vitality. So the... It goes down by one. See, this is what I mean by camping slash choosing the HQ. It does go down. I think I want to get a material so I can build those hiking boots. Um, gather materials. Roll your material die. Set it as... So yeah, roll material die. Set it as your materials. So you can go from having materials to having none. Or I can go just straight to four. Cool. Uh, that's two. And then I'll do the same thing for the food. Oh my god! Well, it looks like I'm spending another night here. I will then do this to build uh, hiking boots and I will place the flashlight. This might kill me, but again, like, I'm just trying to show the, the loop here, you know? So let me build the hiking boots. Yeah, so that actually increases my counter by one. Can't do anything, so I will draw another card. Uh, stout clothes. Man, I got three stout clothes. Damn, son. All right, so that does that. So now uh, we do increase of night encounter, of night, night spent on the HQ. We will, monster recovers one vitality. So the monster can recover up to its max hit points, which is max hit points are basically all the player's hit points added together. So it can go up to like 30. Um, I don't know if I should cap it. Um, but I kind of don't want to because I want it to be that if you're not pressing the monster, like, it's going to be a disadvantage to you. You know what I mean? Like, it, you should be trying to hunt this monster. There is, like, a, a proverbial time limit, you know, to get this thing killed. Um, so it recovered one, right? Okay. Um, reset stamina, which is now going to be six. Pretty sweet. Oh, I'm going to spend that one to recover one vitality. Sorry, unless my headphone is actively getting audio input to tell me, like, to, like there's music playing or whatever, then it'll turn itself off. So that's why there's keeps being these skips and stuff like that is for that reason. Well, we've recovered our that. We've recovered some vitality. I believe our max is nine. Yeah, our max is nine. So we're only two away. I kind of want to get this fixed, so what I'll do is minus two, and I'll roll this. Okay, we got three. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll minus two, recover one hit point, because the, the, the creature can do, set, can do seven damage in one go. That's enough to go out again. Place a forest tile here, and we'll move, and that'll be our two things that we get to do. We'll roll our thing it is six because we've got that two here. Uh, six on a forest is gain one food to the inventory, but now we've ran out, so it'll be a plus one, minus one to the nighttime encounter. We'll shuffle this really quick. Uh, as I settle down for the night, I can hear nature wake. The nocturnal lives, nothing is out of place tonight. Gain, regain one vitality. That's pretty good. That's like really nice. Because now I'm at max health. Alright. Uh, reset stamina to six. Um, right? Because four and then two things to... Yeah. So, um, yeah. All right. So we're going to go hunting this bad boy. So one, two. One, two. Uh, roll that bad boy. So it's four. So I'm going to go with four, which is actually six. Which in the forest is going to give me one food to my inventory. Uh, I will discard two of these stout clothes. Just because uh, I do want to um, try and get another weapon here. The bow or the knife is kind of a good like backup weapon for the hunter. But um, he really excels at getting like the automatic or the semi-automatic. So that uh, he can just put out damage. Because the... Uh, the 
semi-automatic is one bullet for three damage and the automatic is two bullets for six damage in one go so you can really like f just chunk down the beast so yeah what i'll do is i will farm one card we'll farm another card sensor device i'll go ahead and push my luck i'm gonna place a forest tile here and move there so one two that'll be my last two i will then roll this bad boy here seven plus two is nine i believe uh gain one material to your inventory um i will then minus a food for the night i will draw an encounter card lose one vitality refresh this i know it seems a bit boring but when you're like working as a team like with another person or let's say there's four people uh like moving around the board and stuff i i think it's gonna be good i again i don't know for sure but i think it's gonna be good i'll try and farm the deck again so one one spend one ammo deal two damage i said one spend i won't i won't bother with that i'm not gonna toss it but i won't bother with the uh, trap supplies get rid of trekking poles because i already have trekking poles um I'm really trying to farm this baseball bat. <laughs> baseball bat is really good for the muscles because he gets extra stamina and all that stuff. He also has other like benefits. Like I forget exactly what he said. Okay, here we go. Uh, elbow grease. If you have more than two stamina, you can add or subtract one from any die of your dice rolls because uh, he doesn't get knowledge a whole lot. Um, or his build isn't meant to try and get knowledge. Neither is the hunter's. Um, you know, you can spend... When needing to spend a resource excluding ammo, you may spend remaining stamina instead. So um, if you need to build something, you can spend whatever stamina you have left to build it without needing a thing. Or if you want to, like, recover something or, like, cook food or whatever. I know if you don't have any food, it kind of makes, doesn't make sense. But uh, it, I think it's kind of balanced in its own way. I just pulled baseball bat. I'm going to discard that. And I'm going to spend this to move because I don't want to be stagnant too much. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go one, two, one, two. We're going to roll this goddamn die here. It's six, which is actually eight, which I believe gives us a material, right? In the forest. Yeah. Add one material to your inventory. That works because we've got the bow. It's going to be very helpful if we can um, ever fight this damn thing. All right, so I'm going to try and farm the deck again. Trap supplies. I'll just discard it. With one player, it's kind of almost pointless to uh, try and do t traps and sensors. You can, but it's, it's a pain in the ass. The best thing is to just try and hunt it down because it's also got less hit points. So now it's nighttime. We just subtracted food. So uh, I can't say for sure what it, what it, what did it, but my pack was torn open I'm missing some things discard one card I will discard I'm gonna go ahead and discard a trap I know I can get food from a trap which I might need but the sensor I can gain knowledge from I'm already good on knowledge though for right now so I'll just get rid of the sensor device I will then try and farm this deck again I will then go ahead and move. Oh shit! That's not supposed to be four. Um, I will now. Should I do a clearing? No, let's do another forest. So one, two. We'll roll this bad boy. One, in a forest. I believe it gets me. Oh, no, it's three. It's three. It's three. Uh, which gives me. Discovery card, right? Yeah. So draw a discovery, flip it. All right. See the different kinds of trails. Human, small animals, bigger ones, ATVs, and whatnot. That trail off in the distance is definitely one I really haven't seen. Gain two knowledge. You may place a within two on your tile. Stutter. So you can't really place a sensor like a knowledge token so that just kind of gets lost um 
I'm thinking that if you're sharing a tile, anything that you can't collect would go to the other guy on the tile. That's what I'm thinking in that situation, but I don't know. So, uh, place it within two, right? The only reason I want a custom token is that these are coins, and there's going to be... I have a character idea for, like, flipping a coin. So, that's within two. Still got two stamina. I'm going to try and do one more deck pull. I'll go ahead and recover one hit point. Move one token per player from any tile. Yeah, a lot of odd and stang noises last night. Something doesn't seem right. And that means on the on the field. So this this within two tracker gets gotten rid of. Preset stamina. I need to move into uh, clearings now because I need to try and get some food or something. So we're gonna go like this. One, two. I need to start trying to farm food. Uh, also, I'm gonna start dying really fast. Nine, of course. Of, of course, I get an 11. Draw an encounter card and resolve it. Uh, okay, uh, we're in a clearing, right? Until you have a horrific monstrosity hurling its 500 pound plus body straight at you from across the stretch of open ground, I don't want to hear it. Lose <laughs> three vitality, uh, do player damage. Three vitality, and then do player da so player damage minus one material, deal two damage. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's try, let's try this again. <laughs> Clearing. I move onto the space. I roll it. That's a one. All right, so that's gonna be a discovery card, right? Oh, we'll get plus two. So there's another guy who says if you don't like your clue, I think it's um, old man, the old man. Uh, yeah, the old man, I think, is have a look around. Before resolving discoveries, you may spend one stamina to discard it and draw a new discovery. He's kind of a pseudo-team player. He's also the only character that can roll an encounter on a clearing. Oh, I just rolled a one. I just resolved that. I did that. Blah, blah, blah. And now I need to try and get another clearing tile food. I need to get more food, which is actually five. Uh, five. Um, so I need a minus two to get that food. Because I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't know if I already did this. I'm going to assume I didn't and cheat. One again? Uh, I came across what appears to be a major thoroughfare for the creature. Its tracks cross every which way. There was, however, a very clear set, and very recent. Gain three knowledge, place it within two. So the corresponding space is going to be uh, one, two, and one, two. So it'll be here or here that, it's, that we can put like a trap token or whatever. And I think I just might, because a trap token will do more than I can do with my bow. And I can build a trap. Um, so, but first we got to resolve this. Do that. That's what we'll do. We'll move two over this way. So one, two. Because it's right next to the thing. Uh, I will... Uh, so it's one, two. I'll minus one to build the sensor... The trap token. Um, I will then minus one to lay the trap token on the thing. Trap token is on a tile where the tracker is corresponding. All three tokens can be removed and the monster loose. No, it just says I can remove it. Let me do that. So I'll move again. Then I can discard it for free. I can discard all three of these. That is actually the first time I personally have ever uh, done damage to the monster with a trap token. So uh, one, two, three. Um, and then I will... Uh, You get material way more often than you get bullets, so that's kind of why I'm not trying to do, like, the handgun. Um, I'll draw a card. Maybe I can get a, a better weapon. 
night encounter, I don't have to lose anything because I'm on the thing, but that means that this goes up. Discard one card each. I'll just count that trekking pole because, I mean, I just tossed it, so. I mean, you you make concessions like that all the time when playing a board game in real, real life. You know, you're like, well, you know, like, hey, guys, since, you know, whatever else, since I didn't have five cards already, you know, I'm going to make an excuse for myself. I increase my stamina. Dart. Start hunting again. Well, actually, no. I will spend two to roll my food die. Come on. Be good, baby. Well, three is better than one. So I will take three. Six. Draw and resolve a discovery card. Hey, look. It's a human remain. So monsters now increases to three. The deputy. He just came by this morning. Always really nice and caring. Now he's gone. Lose one vitality. Gain one knowledge. Or the gun equipment card. I'll just... Should I pull it from my hand? Yeah, I should just pull it from my hand. Equip it. But when it means gain, it means, like, do this. Lose one vitality. Gain two food. One knowledge. Well, I can't gain any knowledge, so I'll gain two food. So this is why you want to put corpse cards in the deck. Because if you find them, you get a lot of good shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's really good. I mean, you do lose health, but you get a ton of stuff for it. Like, if you find the hunter, right, like I said before, uh, where is, where's the hunter's card right here? You get the semiotic weapon or the bandolier and four ammo. You know what I mean? Like, you just get outfitted. The monster's activity does increase and all that shit. So right now we're at three, right? So that's not necessarily good. <laughs> I will eat a food to gain a stamina, to lose a stamina, to drop this, gain a um, vitality from resting on that space. I will then lose another one of these to add a stamina, to, to lose a stamina, to switch these to where I have the handgun out. Because now I've got more ammo than I do that. Let's, let's do this. Less chance of me dying this way. Eight. Add one food to your inventory. Hey, I'll do that. But now we're... I will minus that to gain another stat. So now I'm out of that. Draw my night encounter. Well, I don't think I'm going to ever lose my trekking pole unless I, or my hiking boots unless I absolutely have to. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Got pretty good health now. So I think I'm going to try and hunt this thing. So it's a 6 plus 3 is 9 in the forest. Forest is gain one material to your inventory. I will do that gladly. So if you're wondering if I, if I run out of tiles all but the special tiles, yes. You do please start placing the special tiles in the tiles that you have not filled out. Um, if you run out of the, the clearing and the forest tiles. So 7 plus 3 is 10. I believe that gives us an encounter. It does. Draw an encounter card and resolve it. So we're in the forest. Flip the... Oh no. <laughs> Alright. Here it goes. Forest, don't know how much of me is left after it got its claws in me. Lose seven vitality. Good thing I got that vitality back. Actually, I'll just set it to one. Uh, oh, man. Deal player damage. Minus an ammo to deal two damage. Oh, since the trap also... Sorry, I cheated. The trap did three damage. And with the... Uh, with the Wendigo, uh, it, it's increasing... Dam its activity increases after taking three damage. When taking three damage in a single round? A single encounter. So actually, no, it wouldn't. Because that's not an encounter. You tell me. You tell me what you think. Alright, now time to hobble my ass back to the fucking game. Actually, I'm going to spend this one to get another thing back here. I'm going to move... Uh, Let's see, it's one, two, three, four. So one, two. That'll make that down to zero. That'll put me on the HQ. Okay, so I'm on the HQ. Don't lose any more food. Lose one vitality. So that HQ is another vitality. And there is no way to get the HQ's vitality back. So minus two to roll this. Oh, sorry, this needs to go up too. I'll take it. Minus two to roll my food. Fuck. Alright. This goes up. I ought, to, I ought to think when I do this that instead of minusing food, you add one to the counter. 
Remove one token from play. There are no tokens. Lose one vitality. Is there any tokens on the field? No. So lose one vitality. That goes to the HQ. You might get to see what happens with the HQ when it's done. Fuck. Oh, wow. So good. Um, I don't want to roll. Rest? Yeah, rest. I'm going to rest because I'm so low on hit points. So seven nights spent. That's just, that's a maxes out. All right. Lose one vitality. Come on. Uh oh. Gain one vitality. A roommate's just die. God damn it. A roommate's gonna die. I guess we don't have to do. All right. Oh, God. I discard one card each. Buy trap supplies. No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Damn it! You roll it again! Come on, give me something. Oh my god, one more time. I need food. I, didn't I just say it was fine? Oh my god! Uh, dude, this is what I mean by bad luck. Discard one card each. Alright, uh... I'm gonna discard the handgun, because I right now I've got more bow. Alright, minus two. Roll my fucking food. If it's above three, I'll take it. Nope. Alright, three. I will move into the clearing... And spend one material to recover two, because I believe in the clearing it just gives you two vitality when resting. Minus one. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I'll also do this to regain another vitality. Lose one of vitality. God damn it. All right. Uh, I got to try and hunt this thing. I got to, before it. Before we start getting all the monster recovers one, monster recovers one, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's on nine health. I just need to encounter it. Encounter it. Uh, nine divided by two, four and a half times. Unless I get a good weapon. So let me move into the forest here. One, two. We'll roll this. Seven, that's three, that's ten, that's an encounter. Whew. Okay. Okay, lose three vitality. Not the worst. Uh, forest, I tried to bite... It tried to bite my, my damn face off. Hand... Hand is pretty torn up from stopping it. Deal player damage minus one, lose three vitality. God damn it. One, two, three... Minus one. Well, now it's four times. Huh. Oh, I gotta, um, remove one of those. Okay. Hunt. Spend an ammo. If you roll on this tile this round, you may add or subtract two from your roll. You may add or subtract one, two, or three from this roll. Uh, I believe it's five to re-roll a tile, right? Spend, no, look around. Spend three knowledge to re-explore the tile. All right. So I'm gonna spend three. You, uh, spend an ammo. Of, co of course. That's 13. The most I can do is minus 5, which puts me at 8. Does 8 give me anything I need on a forest tile? Not really. It gives me one material, which I guess I will take. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, man, streak of bad luck. Maybe bad decisions. I don't know. All right, so... Oh, that was, uh... That was one to re-roll it? Yeah, spend the stamina to do that. Three? Yeah. All right, I will draw a card from the equipment deck. That'll minus one. Flashlights. Okay, I will then move into a clearing... And then I will roll. Six, which makes it nine in a clearing. That gives me one food to my inventory. That's better than nothing, but minus that one food because it's nighttime. Uh, shuffle this. Uh, somehow in the night, our campsite was wrecked and no one heard it. Weird. Reduce HQ's vitality to two.
by two. Oh no! Reduce it by two is what it says, right? Oh no! Well, there goes the thing. Now you guys get to see this. So these just get removed from the board. Now there's no more campsite. It just it unlocks. It's, it just flips over, and it's now just just a clearing. It's just a clearing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, this sucks. I'm gonna die. I am I am legitimately gonna die. There's no way around it. I'm gonna die. Alright. Uh so that resets this. Um now I need to really start thinking. I've got three vitality. Got a bow. So I'll do, since I'm in a clearing, first thing I'll do is I'll minus that to get two more vitality. I'll then draw another card. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help me exactly now. I haven't earned any ammo, but still it was something I was looking for. All right, minus two to do another clearing and move into it and roll eight. That's 11 on a clearing. That's an encounter. I don't have any way to minus it, so it's an encounter. I could literally just die right now. Fuck! There it is. There it is. Clearing. I'm not doing so well. Bleeding pretty bad. It gored me real good. Right in the stomach. Lose seven vitality. Well, there it is. And there you see the cycle of the game with one player. God damn. I didn't even... Look, I have ten clearings and 23 forest. And six. So that's 29. I still have... I still have like half of the board to go... Oh my goodness. And I, again, I've only ever played with two people. It goes a lot faster with two people. So I can only imagine that four people, it wouldn't be quite so long. I did get it uh, almost to half its health. Uh, just around half. Um, just by myself. And if I had gotten a little bit better on the draws, maybe if I hadn't have spent so much time trying to farm stuff, I would have had a better time. But yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's my game. I don't really have a name for for it uh when me and my buddy started making this game a while ago he wanted to, he wanted it to sort of be cutesy as a contrast to the concept and wanted to call it like where and when did he go because like a when 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 did he go uh but um i don't know if that's the best thing for it and also oh so you know these red cards all the ones with the blood stains are uh, um, they, they're all seven damage, so, uh, anyway, thanks for, uh, thanks for, thanks for, uh, I guess it was just two parts, I might divide it up into three, just because of how long this game took, but it took, like, an hour, right, an hour and a half, I don't know, but thank you, I'll see you again at some point, thanks for, uh, thanks for your patience.